you, you, you paid you paid Alistair Clarkson a million dollars to not coach for a year. You re-signed the CEO for five years. He didn't oh, reach half that time. You made some big mistakes, and in the end, no, Sam Mitchell was the right choice, but you went about it in a clumsy way. We, out of respect for Clarko, paid him a year's salary not to coach. There was a change in Clarko's position, right? So get that right. He didn't want that situation and neither did oh, Sam. Oh, dear, dear, dear goodness gracious. You're so bitter. You just must live on lemons most days and nights. What I'm going to do is give you an offer. If your team on football sacrifice and wishes, I will come in from the grave next week and we'll go through all of those points that you have made. We're Bring it on. Week. See you on Monday. Can't we wait. Have you and Caro on awesome. Footy Classified this Monday. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 indeed. <laughs> Welcome back to Footy Classified. And he's come back from the grave, to use his own words. Jeff Kennett, we appreciate you being here. Welcome. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is. In fact, that were my words, Sam. But anyway, I'll, I'll leave that. So, Jeff, despite the divisions at the club when you left and the off-field problems clearly still facing the club, the Gowers and now Ash Klein administration seems to be leading a fairly stable operation. And yet you won't let up on them. Do you think it's time to stop talking and backbiting at the club and give them a go? Because you've had two goes at it. The first one was very successful. Second one, a few mistakes at the end. Do you think it's time to stop talking and let them govern? Let me start by answering your question, by giving you some idea of how I manage when I'm in a position of authority. That might be as Premier, President of the club, President of a not-for-profit. Not Just one now. moment, let me finish. But if I've asked you the question. Let me start and finish without being interrupted, please. I always use the basis that an individual on their own never wins a thing. Teams of people do, whether that's a football field, a government, whether it's a not-for-profit. And that was something I learnt in the army. So an individual can't win a battle. So always, in a position of leadership, I've always put round me a group of people who form a board or a cabinet who have different experiences than I have, to have frank exchanges and then, hopefully, deliver positive outcomes. And that's what's happened at Hawthorne. So you say I made a mess of my time at Hawthorne. Let me just ask you the question, please. I left with a mess. When I became president in 2005, having been asked to take the job, we hadn't won a premiership for 14 years. 14 years later, the club had won four. When I joined the club, we were criticised for making some investments in the entertainment area, which we held on to against opposition. We sold them at the best time possible, which gave us $70 million, which is now being put into the development Jeff, of Dingley, which I is have a... I a lot of respect. Sorry, can no, I just... No, no, no. It was thirdly, only got 12 minutes, Jeff. Third, we can't have a history Well, then, please in your let last me finish. Year, You've been... A split with the premiership the third coach, area, a can I just say, coach, in so the acrimonious, he won't come back to the club, is a mess. Can a I just $1 say... A $1 million let payout let go, for the third a thing, The third oh, thing... It's not fair to have a history lesson. We don't have time. Sorry, you said I left the club in a mess. In the last year, yes. That's Please. what I said. Four premierships, a new facility worth $100 million is being built, and as you've admitted now, we've made the right decision in terms of changing our coach. Now, I would imagine any player, past or present, would have taken those 14 years with that result. Four premierships, a new facility, will be the only club in the AFL that actually owns its own land and its own facility. So, so, and you said that's a mess. But you haven't answered my original question. Do you think it's time to let the new governors govern? They do, and they but are. Why do you keep backbiting? Why do you I don't complain keep backbiting. About... What I do you argue spoke very... publicly about your life membership. You complained oh, about God where they sake. held the AGM. You've said they should settle. No, you haven't. I apologise. Oh, You've said they should a fight a claim which has already cost them a million dollars in legal fees. Why don't you let them do it now? Because you've had your go, Jeff. And I wrote a very long and complimentary column of you after your Must first... Must have been before the turn of the century. No, well, it was, it was after your first... In, I think you had six years. Can I say I was why we're... complimentary. Oh, can I, I just... Said, no, no. <laughs> you've given us the history. I said, in your last year, you left a mess. 
I know what happens when favourite sons have blues with clubs. They can damage the clubs. And Alistair and your club, certainly when you were there, was split. The million dollar payout, you might say he deserved it, but that wasn't the idea. And it was a contract you oversaw. And then the further million dollars in legal fees following an investigation that I know you didn't handle, but you were president at the time. That was a mess, Jeff. The last year was a mess. All right, can I get and, a word? And no, you still no, haven't. Well, just sorry. answer the question and then someone right, else can well, have Well, I get a word in. When so, are you firstly, going to let them govern? And firstly, I am absolutely opposed to any organisation, including yours at News, giving in to allegations I don't work without for news. those. Well, you're part, sorry, you're part of the Nine Network, of any organisation being forced or tempted to give money to those who make allegations where those allegations are not proven. So yes, I have been writing to the club as a member and as a former president to make sure that the board understands that any payment to those who made the allegations or to our coaches is totally a misuse of our funds. Which, which came about because of a botched report that you can... No, 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 no. No, no. The report was all right. What happened, all we sought to do was get stories from other Indigenous players and staff members about what their experiences have been. And be completely Hold unprepared so, no, for no, what no. the ramifications of no, what no, some of those sorry. people said. When we got that report, we were shocked, like the public were. And then someone leaked that report to the ABC and they ran it. So we will not and should not, nor should you, nor should any organisation pay money to people who make accusations. What happened so, wasn't the media's fault, Jeff. I'm sorry to tell sorry, you. Sorry, I'm sorry. You're wrong, Sam. You are so wrong. I disagree. The report was done properly. As soon as we got the report, as we're bound to do, we gave it to the integrity unit at the AFL. Before they and we could determine how we take this report and what we did, someone leaked it to the ABC. Jeff, That's you... when it blew out of water. Now, I'm opposed, not just in football, but anywhere, that you pay compensation for those who just make accusations. Because of the precedent. So right now, the Cracker Brothers are making claims of racial discrimination that go back 40 years. The AFL and the clubs are going to have to deal with concussion. That's a very difficult issue, but we've got to prove the case. This you can't just have already people cost making Hawthorne and your members a million dollars. Sorry, Carrot, you have consistently fees, yes. argued that we should pay out money and to the, the, the no, three No, no, I've coaches. reported that that's what's going to happen. And I haven't said you should. Well, I've reported that it's going well, to happen. Well, you should. Well, it hasn't happened yet, as no, I understand. No, it, it hasn't. And nor should it to the coaches, because, as I say, they were embarrassed terribly. But if they have a claim, it's against the ABC. Do There's you, no doubt about that. Do you regret of... the relationship split with Alistair? No. Wait, wait, what do you mean a relationship well, split? The fact that we decided to have a new coach? No, no. The fact that Alistair now won't attend official reunions oh. at the club. Well, sorry. He's gone to private reunions with his players, but he won't attend official reunions, and he left the club in acrimony. Well, I'm sorry. He didn't leave. Yes, he, he did. He, we had to yes, deal with... Uh, I'm sorry. Dear See, you are, won't, are there you any, won't listen. Jeff, are there, he did are, there, not. are there any regrets of your time? No, no, you, because you, at you the end of the day... really comfortable with Absolutely. your legacy and the way I know that the club left. did the so, right so thing. So zero regrets of what Carol no, no, asked. Because we had an agreement with Alistair. I think it was he was going to coach through to 2022. We we're going to talk to him at the end of 21. He came to the football department halfway through 21 and said, I want to talk about my contract. So was it a mistake to have that succession plan? You've, no. got, the, you've got the right coach yes, now. So there's all's, no well, doubt about all's that. well that ends yeah. well, but to have no, the succession Kane, plan. I in don't place. think so because A, we honoured. Clarko, we wanted him to finish his term, but to continue as a mentor for Sam, as that final Neither, touch. neither man wanted that situation. Well, hang on, that's not what they agreed to initially. Yeah, it but they changed. didn't want it. It changed. Oh, no, but it changed, Carol. That wasn't our fault. That was their decision. And then, as you said, we did pay Carco a million dollars. We thought, after 14 or 15 years as a senior coach and a contributing to four premierships, he was entitled I'm not to arguing be... with that, but I think clubs agree now that good governance is not these massive payouts. That's not what you mean. Well, sorry, the AFL themselves are talking with the coaches about writing into contracts either a six-month or a 12-month retrenchment payment. So don't say the clubs aren't no, about but that. No, that. that's because... Um, the, but the AFL don't want clubs to sign contracts that they don't stick to. And I, no, I'm no, surprised... But they, they're you're having a, an outcome. You're, you're, you're not a silly man. And oh. you knew Alistair Clarkson very well and you know Sam Mitchell very well. Yes. Surely you'd se you've seen this happen before. Didn't you have the foresight to see that there were going to be problems? No, we actually... And do you no, hang on, sorry. It? Don't say you the whole time. The board made the decision. Well, we had a contract... Plural. 
Pardon? You were the president. I mean, well, ultimately... Right. It's we work as a collegiate body, as I've done as Premier, as I've done with my not-for-profits. So we made a decision. Alistair had a contract till 22. All right, we said we weren't going to extend that for a whole range of reasons. But we were prepared for him to continue in a mentoring role, and we'd pay him while Sam had that year, first year as his coach. It sounds All like right? you're passing the buck, if you don't mind me saying it. Uh, you still haven't answered the question. What's the question? About your relationship with Alistair, no, the club's we, damaged relationship no, with Alistair. Well, it might be from his point of view, but I don't bear grudges against anyone. Right? Life Have you is too up short. With him? Have you no, I haven't. Him? Would but you I say, understand Jeff, that these things happen because Alistair wanted to keep going and it's his problem, not yours? No, no, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Alistair asked us to reconsider his contract, right? In the middle of 21, I think it was. The board decided, no, we're not going to extend it for another three years the way we're travelling. Right decision. We had a young man who had been trained partly by Alistair over in the West as well. And it was time to give him, as is so often the case, if you're looking for a leader, don't always look for another leader, another senior coach. Look for a good, well-trained, well-prepared 2IC and let them flourish. And that's what the board did with Sam. And so, the, these are, these are, and you were right. He was the right choice. Well, you're saying that now. And the, no, no, I always thought oh, Sam Mitchell was no, the right choice. No, no one's ever disputed that um, Sam was the right decision. To, no, 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 that, 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 to be that, fair, that, at the time, there, there, was, there was pushback at the time. I was pummeled by mm. some of yeah, you be, good journalists. That, that's yeah, right. Because you paid, because you no, paid no, him a million dollars not to coach. No, no, no. At a time when money in a soft cap was extremely We made two decisions. We made the right decision in terms of governance and the interest of the club, and we paid Alistair a million dollars over two payments. Not to coach. Out of... Not to coach, out of courtesy for what he had contributed. Now, courtesy that you were forced Jeff, to do. Um, no, no, Jeff, we weren't, we, we weren't we, forced to do I, I wish we had all night, and these oh, are no, weighty you don't. issues. No, but, don't. But these, and I, don't, I want to quickly micromanage with you because I don't know oh, why you, you would have. Me. I don't know why you would have spoken publicly about your life membership that you were going to get, and you called, I think, the club. Being, I think you, you said they were being petty. You also even criticised the fact that the AGM was being held at Waverley, a place you championed. In fact, it was one of your great moves, a deal you did for Waverley before you became president. Why would you come out with comments like that oh, first when thing, Andrew Gow is an Ash Kleiner trying to run a club? Sorry, you were oh, always going to get your life membership. Did well, you need to make I it all about that? you? Right, on terms of the AGMs, We've always had them, not at Waverley in real terms, except during COVID. But hold it, please. It's Listen. It's not up to you anymore. But we've held them at the Hawthorne Town Hall. After COVID, many of us thought it was good to get the members back together, to give them the opportunity of meeting with the players. They decided not to do that. That's fine. In terms of the life membership, and Andy rang me up. He rang me up and said, oh, Jeffrey, yes, yes. Uh, I'm just letting you know that as per the Constitution, you've been awarded life membership. I said, oh, thank you very much, Andy. But he said, we're not going to present it to you. I said, what? He said, oh, no, no, we're not going to present it to you for a while. We'll decide a time because in the Because of the difficult timing and it would have, oh. wouldn't have gone down we're going to have to ring the bell there, guys. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> we, wish we, had, we wish we had all night, Can Jeff. I, we really do. But we've, can, we're out of I'll time. I'll tell you what. When you're ready, and if we get over tonight, could you invite me back? I would love to talk to you about the condition of the AFL and where it's going. Because rather than all this rubbish, we have got... Well, and I know I'm coming Jeff, from the grave, to come on, but I have a lot of experience. Jeff, I have we'd, love, of experience. we'd love to have you back. There are right some now, real issues with the AFL at the moment. Yep. And that revolves around changing the rules midway through the season. It's about changing the drafting when the drafting people have been working a year and a half. We've got some challenges. Now, Caro would say that I should have no opinion at all. Jeff, I but I am out of the grave. Alone. Jeff, oh, alone. Jeff, go to bed. Jeff, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Sam, Thank it's you been a pleasure. It has. Matthew, Thanks as you. always. Thank you. And Thanks for coming my, in, It's a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you, Caro. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much.